Wow. Now for today's recipe uh, from Beach Bum Berries Remix, we're cre recreating some of the tiki recipes from here. Some of the not so well known ones. I'm gonna try and pronounce this. Kiku, Kikuya Lapu, I think that's what it's called. Let me give you a close up of there. Now the whole premise of these videos, uh, I kind of want to go down a tiki rabbit hole, kind of educate you about different kind of putting rums together, uh, using lots of different ingredients, lots of different juices. You'll see that this is a 12 ingredient cocktail. And the whole point being is when, it, when you look at rum tiki cocktails, it is very much those same ones that get rocked out time and time and time again. You know, your Mai Tais, your zombies, your grogs, your planters, punches, maybe your painkillers and stuff like that. I want to shine a light on some of this so many different recipes in the beach bum berries remix i want to shine a light on some of these that you might not have heard of before now just very quickly before i dive in and show you how to make this i want to hear from you guys i want to hear your favorite tiki cocktails and i don't mean any of those aforementioned tiki cocktails i want you to sort of let me know your other cocktails tiki cocktails that we might not have heard of before uh, drop them into the comments below and then i might look at if i can find recipes and all that i might look at making them in series two so without any further ado let's dive in to make the kukuya lapu which was created in 1992 uh, at a kukuya restaurant in huntington beach california so this is a monster cocktail, 12 ingredients. I'll run you through them as we go on and the recipe will be on, on screen as well. Uh, I'm gonna serve this up in this tiki glass. Uh, this is rainbow and there'll be a link below in the description where you can get that if you're in the UK. Uh, 12, 13, 13 ounce, I think it's a bit bigger than 13 ounce if I'm honest. I haven't done it. I think that's more of a 14, 15 ounce tiki glass, but we should go. Right, uh, ingredients are up there. So I don't, how, how the hell do you remember 12 ingredients? So uh, 15 ml of lime juice, that's the first one. So one five of freshly squeezed lime juice. Uh, and this is gonna be a shaken cocktail, uh, according to Beach Bum. Uh, so seven and a half ml of cranberry juice. So 15 ml of lime, seven and a half ml of cranberry juice. And next up, we've got orange juice, 22 and a half ml of orange juice. There we go, perfect. Uh, next up, we've got pineapple juice, 22 and a half mil of uh, proper, get proper pineapple juice, 22 and a half mil. They're pressed, that's the word I'm looking for. Pressed pineapple juice, grapefruit juice, 22 and a half mil. Same as last week, I've gone with uh, yellow or white grapefruit, whatever. I don't, I don't, pink grapefruit, I think, I don't know. I haven't done the history. I think pink grapefruit might be a new grapefruit. I'm, you've got to think these recipes were about like in the 40s, 50s, you know, maybe even earlier. And I kind of think it was great, pink grapefruit. They probably were, I don't know, but I've just gone with yellow or golden grapefruit. Uh, 22 and a half mil for this as well. Tropicana, that's what that is. Uh, so 22 and a half mil of that. Passion fruit syrup, 22 and a half mil. Now, uh, people like Martin Kate, for instance, in Smuggler's Cove, their passion fruit syrup is 50% uh, funkin, 50% sugar. This is, Monin's is slightly different. I don't have um, the uh, Monin's version of this. I've run out of it, which is 50% passion fruit, 50% sugar. Uh, so I'm actually gonna use this syrup. It is 22 and a half mil. So I'm going to bring this down. So I'm just going to very, very slightly. I'm just going to do 20 mil. Uh, it shouldn't be too far off, but 20, but just slightly under there, 20 mil of that. Now the honey mix is the similar sort of thing as well in the recipe. So honey mix would be honey mixed with water to make it even more runny honey. That's essentially what honey syrup is. Uh, so we've got that 22 and a half mil of that. There we go, good old morning. Uh, dark, right, here we go. When we get onto the rums, dark Jamaican rum, probably more like Appleton 12 or something like that. I, you know, I, I'm trying to create cocktails uh, as cheaply and as effectively as possible. So I think El uh, J uh, Appleton eight-year-old would be a banger for this, I really do. Uh, so we want 45 mil, one and a half ounces of a dark Jamaican rum. There we go, it's that Appleton eight-year-old here. Now, here's the other one, because it's 15 mil of a, a 151 Caribbean rum. Now, my hunch would be that it's actually more of um, 
like a lighter sort of Dominican Republic Puerto Rico 151. Now, I do not have any of those, and I hadn't realized, you know, it's a big gaping hole when I'm looking at these recipes, big gaping hole in my, my sort of collection of what I've got. I've got a few 151s, but none that sort of fit that sort of Dominican Republic Puerto Rico. So, um, the only one I've got is like white Takamaka from the Seychelles, not, it's, it'll be, closer but yeah so my riff straight away is i'm going for um 15 mil of plantation uh oftd uh, as i say i don't think it's like for like for what this cocktail was called for but it, at the end of the day it just says 15 mil of caribbean 151 rum so uh this stuff is amazing anyway so 15 mil of oftd uh we've got a dash of angostura bitters so one dash there we go, of Angostura bitters. Right, uh, now I've got the pipette bottle out here, uh, the pipettes here. So we want six drops of pastis. I think it might have said, I'll have to, you'll see it on screen, but I think it actually might have said uh, perno or something on in the recipe. But I've got uh, pastis, so similar, identical thing, thing. So six drops of this, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six drops of that, Cornish pasty in it private in joke and then we've got it says three drops of almond extract which i forgot i had actually but i've got these so three drops one two three uh, and i'm not sure how you know almond extracts i've looked so because i've got um other brands it's if when you look out where's it gone when you look at this sort of stuff here um then nielsen massey i'm not sure how especially in the UK, how pungent they are, whether three drops is going to be enough of that. Three drops of that probably would because they are really, really powerful. So I'm not overly convinced three drops. I don't, I, I don't know. I'm going to leave it at that. I, I don't know whether that's actually going to do anything. I don't know. Uh, so that's it. I'm just going to ice this up and give it a good shake. Right. Uh, and then just to quickly show you because I know this is feedback from months ago. People like to see the cocktail. So there is a, an open gated pour. In Steve the Barman, Chav, Cornish Chav speak, shake and dump. But open gated pour, you can kind of see what it looks like there. Sort of that sort of colour. But I think tiki cocktails should go in tiki glasses. So I'm going to pour it into rainbow. Top it up with more crushed ice. There's no way that is 13 ounces. Absolutely not a chance. So that's that's listings wrong. That's easily 16, 17 ounces. Easily on there. Uh, so crushed ice to the top. And then to garnish. Garnish tiki. Go loud and proud. But I've got some sprigs of mint. Uh, an orange and a dried pineapple. Maybe a cherry on there as well. Right. The moment of truth. Wow. That is delicious oh that's a strong night i wouldn't change a single thing about that that's a strong nine nine point five out of ten do i get the do i get the pastis do i get the almonds i think i do actually get the almonds i'm not overly sure i get the pastis it is a decent pastis it's quite strong uh i forgot the abv 42 percent abv it's 84 proof i'm not sure i get that the honey's there, the passion fruit's there, the combination of all those juices. I even pick up the cranberry juice on that, seven and a half mil. The rums, I think the rums work exceptionally well in here. I do like that OFTD, that little bit of pungent in there, but it is heavily influenced by uh, the Appleton, the Jamaican um, eight-year-old. I really like that. That's the key. I recommend you try this. 